right, so today we're gonna fix the uh, 240SX Notorious Sloppy Clutch Pedal. So what we got here is a clutch pedal. It's got a whole lot of slop in it. As you can see, the master cylinder's not even engaging. It's just all the slop that we have in this thing. So we're gonna pull this thing out and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Uh, it's gonna be a lot harder if you have AC in your car, um, but there's one bolt right there up into the top. And then up in the engine bay, the master cylinder is holding the pedal on the rest of the way. So there's two bolts up here on the master, one inside. I'm gonna pull that out and I'll show you what the problem is. All right, got the pedal out and got it on the table here. So if you'll see here, check that hole out. It's all ovaled out and huge. This is um, basically what size the hole is supposed to be. As you can see, it's at the edge and like the top of the hole is at like the top of the bracket. So there's a couple different ways to go about this. Uh, one way you could do is you could weld washers on either side or each side and do it that way But washers are typically soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble this clutch pedal have just the, the arm and then I'm gonna weld the hole shut and then redrill it And that should fix your problem All right, so what I'm gonna do first before I start welding this up is I'm gonna mark centers on where the hole used to be and I'm gonna take my punch and mark it just so that when I weld it up, I know where I'm gonna drill my hole at. So this will be my vertical straight, that mark, and then that one will be my horizontal mark. Grind it smooth now. A piece of metal that I flicked off. That's a piece of aluminum. MIG's not gonna stick to aluminum. So I clamped it to here so that uh, I could fill it up. All right, nice and smoky. Both sides are welded up. Now I'll grind it down flat and let's drill it back out. All right, now we've got it welded shut. And you can just barely see my marks. There's one, and the other one's over there on the right. So I'm gonna put this in the press, drill press, and drill it up. First, match the drill size of this. Let's see what we got here. The one that I need is probably missing. Huh? Nope, that's it. Figured let me put this thing in the vise, drill a pilot hole. I already had it in the vise, so I just want to drill it out. Look at that. Not wall it out anymore. Oh yeah. Alright, so let me put this thing back together. I'm gonna grease this up in here. And then uh, put it back together. Just when you go to put the bolt in, 
have the clutch pedal back like this or the spring is going to be have tension on it and you'll have a hard time fighting it. All right, we got that hole fixed up. Forgot to paint it while I was out, so I threw a little bit of paint on it. But uh, let's throw this thing back in there. All right, I got the clutch pedal back in. As soon as I press the pedal, the rod moves now, immediately. So you're always gonna have a little bit of play in your pedal like that, but that's just the play in your master cylinder. Cause I mean, you can adjust it in the rod up here to have a little bit less, but you don't really want to get rid of all of it because you could introduce clutch slip if you do that. But now this is way better than it was and it doesn't hang up when you press it. So I'm happy with that. So when you go to inspect yours, just make sure you're looking at the actual rod movement and the pin movement. Okay, well, yep, that was uh, my clutch pedal fix. That's been bugging the crap out of me for a while now. So got it fixed, clutch pedal feels great now. Um, let's see what else I can fix before mid pond. I just fixed this too. This is uh, my over temp switch fan. And every time I get out of the car, I kick it. Um, so I broke it, but I just replaced it. All right, so mid pond's in a week, so I decided I would finally paint the bottom of my hood. So we got the top all taped off. The bottom's already sanded and cleaned. Just got to flip her over and we're ready to spray. All right, this is my first time ever trying flames and I'm doing it freehand with tape. Uh, and it's not even like thin tape. So as you can see, all the edges are terrible. So I'm gonna, after I get it down, I'm gonna have to go back through and redo all my edges. But so far, you might be able to tell where the flames are. Might go back through it and modify it a little bit, but hopefully it comes out all right. And hopefully it's like, not the flames aren't too narrow. Cause I think it looks good right now, but only if the flames go all the way out to here. So I think they might be too narrow, but we'll see. Okay, I finished. This shit took forever. I'm not like finished, but I'm done taping and masking. So now I can spray uh, the flames and then wait for that to dry, unmask everything, and then clear coat the whole hood. I think it came out pretty decent for um, freehanding it. I mean, first time ever freehanding flames. I mean, we'll see how it looks after it's painted though. All right, I got two coats on, one more to go. It's not perfect, but it came out pretty good. I'm gonna take some green paint now and I got a paintbrush and I'm gonna outline all the flames because uh, the tape lines weren't exactly perfect because I couldn't get fine tape because the paint shop was closed. So I just got whatever I could find at Home Depot. I think it came out pretty good. I'm really happy with this actually. Way better than the red that it was. And look, I put a green outline all the way around. Did that with a paintbrush, a little tiny paintbrush, but I'm happy with that. All right, so that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing if you uh, are. So until next time, I'll see you later.